brilliant, ingenuous, innovative. These are all words that can be used to describe Flossie Wong's style. Flossie Wong's style was a Chinese-American virologist and microbiologist. In other terms, she studied the function and behavior of various viruses. Flossie was born on the 27th of August in Guangzhou, China. Later, set off to the America in her early adulthood. Upon her arrival, she attended the University of California, Los Angeles. From there, she obtained a bachelor's degree in bacteriology, and later, when she was 21, she got a PhD in molecular biology. After she graduated with her PhD in 1972, she joined Dr. Robert Gallo's group at the National Cancer Institute, which kickstarted her career and led her eventually become the chief researcher in a lab investigating genetic complexity of HIV. The achievement Flossie Wong's style is most known for is cloning HIV. In the 1980s, a new virus, HIV and AIDS, started to spread all over the world, affecting many people, which caught the attention of Wong's style. HIV is a sexually transmitted disease that impairs a person's immune system by eliminating important disease-fighting cells. The virus would go into living cells, use it to reproduce, and in the process, would kill those cells. Flossie is able to create a genetic map of this virus, clone it, and determine the role of its genes. Due to this information, the microbiologist was able to prove that HIV is the cause of AIDS. In addition, she figured out that the genetic diversity of HIV is what helps it invade the immune system. This was a fundamental discovery and essentially it meant that HIV is a virus that constantly mutates or changes every time the immune system tries to fight it. Flossie's research helped create HIV diagnostic blood tests. This lets people test for the virus and receive treatment as soon as possible. Since HIV is incurable, Flossie's study of HIV's genes and proteins aided the creation of antiviral medicines that improved the body's immune system by decreasing the length and severity of viral diseases. Thanks to her, antiretroviral therapies were developed. Her research contributed to the fields of virology and immunology, and her techniques are now being utilized to treat and understand illnesses like COVID-19. Her contribution to the medical field is undeniable, and her ability to finally shed light on what was believed as a gay disease is highly respectable. Created using Powtoon.